Hi, this is Monica and welcome to Table Talk, where we get things out on the table. A lot of people have asked me, you know, how do you make a memorable gathering? How do you make something memorable? And my theme today is fun because we're getting into the Halloween season. Next week, next Saturday is Halloween, the 31st. And what do we think of with Halloween? We think of dress up. And we, ever since we were so high, we dressed up and we went around and we got candy, great rewards, a lot of fun. And why is that fun limited to Halloween? Look at New Orleans, they have Mardi Gras all through the winter. They're dressing up, they're partying, parades, throwing around beads and having fun. And that is the theme today is fun. How do we make our gatherings fun? Now, I'm here with my favorite witch's hat. You know, I love this hat. My grandchildren picked it out for me at Hershey Park. So I dress up as a witch and I give out candy and we will probably go downtown and watch all the people down there dressed up. So what are you planning for Halloween and how do you make your gatherings fun? That's something we want to know. We want to start the community going and we want to tell people what do we do for fun. One of our neighbors up here cleans out their garage and puts hay bales and they make a punch for Halloween and everybody stops up there before the end of the night and gathers and talks and all the kids show us what type of candy they have and we actually take our candy up there to uh, to show around. So the whole theme of the evening is fun. And then how do we translate that to the rest of the gatherings throughout the year? Fourth of July, we have fireworks. That's a lot of fun. Thanksgiving, we have the turkey and gathering, and that's a lot of fun. And what do we think of when we inject fun into our gatherings? So I want you to go below and tell me how you do it and what's the most fun that you have at your gatherings, especially Halloween, because we're gearing up for that right now. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.